Hi there beautiful souls and welcome to Kutch Tarot. My name is Jane and I'm here with your Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus love reading. What is going on in the near future in regards to love for you beautiful Leos watching? A big warm welcome to anyone who is new here and a warm welcome back to my beautiful subscribers. I do appreciate each and every one of you. This is just going to be general reading so just take whatever resonates for you and your situation. Do check out your other signs so that you can get a fuller picture of what is going on in love for you. Um, I want to let you know that I am doing my giveaway, so if you do leave me a comment and you are subscribed, then you will get the chance of being the end of the month winner of a free reading with me. Okay, so Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, what is going on in love for you beautiful people? We're going to get some tarot cards here for you, and we're going to get some oracle cards as well for further clarification. So we have your first card as the King of Wands. I'm going to get six tarot cards for you, and then we'll talk about the energies that we have here for you. We have the beautiful Ace of Swords. We also have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Okay. So Leo, you have a decision to make is the the first thing that I'm coming to here with this two of pentacles, this two of swords, okay, and we actually have the moon's energy at the bottom. I am going to get some clarification for these two cards in just a moment. But we do have the king of wands energy. Now, this shows us about action-driven energy, okay? You could be a leader, you could be an entrepreneur here watching, or the person you're dealing with um, could be. But this is about forward planning. What I'm getting, okay, is that you could be wanting to travel, or there could be a distance between you and the person you're going to be dealing with in love but I do see plans being made here the ace of swords it indicates okay about clarity or communication coming towards you for some of you okay this could be someone who puts you into a position where you're not quite sure what to do with this information this clarity this communication that's coming towards you because I say we do have this two of pentacles and the two of swords here the two of pentacles, it is all about balancing, it's about juggling, okay? And for some of you, okay, I do feel that maybe you've been juggling too much or perhaps the person you're dealing with is currently juggling too much. But the other thing about the two of pentacles, okay, we do have that infinity sign here, okay? So this is perhaps somebody that is maybe in and out of your life for some of you is what I'm getting here, okay? But you always sort of come back together. So I do feel that kind of energy here. We have the Eight of Pentacles, which is about hard work, okay, putting in the effort. With the Seven of Pentacles, lots of Earth energy here, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo's energy. But it's also about 3D and real life um, tangible things. I'm actually getting the message here that you could be right now more focused, okay, on perhaps your career, on finding some sort of inner balance within yourself for others of you here. The Seven of Pentacles, it can speak about divine timing, okay, so I do feel divine timing is playing a part in your love life here, and I know nobody really likes to hear that. It is about waiting for the seeds that you've planted, okay, to come to fruition. I am here in the harvest time, okay, so autumn could be significant for some of you here. Two of Swords, as I say, it speaks about a decision that needs to be made. It can even speak about being a little bit blind to the truth here. And I am going to say clarify that for you. Let's get some clarification for this Two of Pentacles, first of all. What is going on for our beautiful Leos watching, please? We have the Page of Earth here. And for the Two of Swords, what I am feeling, okay, is because you've been going through these cycles, okay, particularly if this is a person from the past that is returning with some sort of communication here, you could be questioning whether it's worth investing anymore. Because it's a repeated cycle you seem to be going through with this person. You know, they're in and out of your life and you always sort of come back together. There's that indecision here. Let us just clarify this Two of Swords. So we have the Empress energy and we have the Eight of Water here. Again, we have the Moon's energy at the bottom of the deck here, Leo. This indicates, okay, there is lots going on behind the scenes. It also indicates, okay, perhaps about fears that need to be released. And I do feel, okay, there are cycles occurring within your love life. That is the other message I'm strongly getting with this Moon energy. This person could be in and out of your life. With the Empress having come out with this Eight of um, Water, okay, do feel that maybe you've walked away from this person in the past. 
or as I say, you are currently questioned, do I walk away from this or do I invest more? Okay, this Empress energy is about lavish abundance. It's about giving birth to your dreams, nurturing yourself and others. But the Empress energy, okay, is somebody who is very nurturing, yes, but she also has healthy boundaries. She doesn't give doesn't give all her energy, doesn't invest, okay, unless it's a worthwhile investment. And I do feel, okay, that this month ahead for you, okay, could certainly be a time where you are questioning um, that in regards to your love life. The eight of water, okay, does indicate a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. I do feel, okay, this connection, this cycle that you've been in, okay, with a particular person, as I say, for many of you here, okay, could just be repeated cycles with different people, but I do feel for a lot of you, it could certainly be a certain person who has dipped in and out of your life. You've learned a lot. You've, it's helped you to become the empress. And now that you're the empress, I don't feel that you're quite so sure you want to invest in this particular connection. Maybe you're in now desiring going in a different direction is something I'm getting here. With the page of earth, okay, the scholar, dependable, patient and successful. This is about good news in regards to financial matters. So if there have been difficulties, if that's one of the things you've been trying to balance out, know there's good news in regards to finances coming towards you. And it's also about a new area of study as well. And as I say, do feel for many of you, you're looking for something new rather than a repeat of the past here is something I get. For others of you, okay, there could be the message here, okay, that it's not necessarily a person from the past that is coming back towards you. It is just your fears with this moon energy here, okay, of history repeating itself. And I feel, okay, the other message I'm getting here is that you two may very well be on the same page in regards to that. Maybe you and this person are not opening up about your feelings for each other or about these fears that you both have at this time, okay? You're kind of mirroring each other's energy there. Can't help but notice we do have the chariots energy here and we also have the six of cups. Now the six of cups, it does speak about a soul connection. It can also speak about reconciliation as well, okay? So for some of you, as I say, this is someone from your past returning. For others of you, this could be a soulmate, um, a past life soulmate that's coming towards you. And it might even be your fears that is kind of keeping you in this. I'm not sure if I should invest in this for a fear of history repeating itself. Okay, let us get some oracle cards now for further clarification. What is going on for our Leos? Wow, we have the union of hearts. A love connection defies explanation. And this is card 28. And this always does give me kind of twin flamey vibes, okay, because it's a connection very well could have been in and out of your life okay these cycles but it's all sort of it's been a cycle okay to help you grow and to transform it's certainly a spiritual journey you're going on but this does indicate a soul connection that is coming towards you okay and it might not make logical sense okay which is maybe why you are in the moon energy and maybe why this person is a little bit you know what on earth is this kind of thing okay but it does indicate a union here for sure we also have the heart of the matter there is more going on than meets the eye and i believe this come out in one of the other readings that i've done this morning i can't quite think which one it was now but it's card number 22 anyway and this is about how there's more going on than meets the eye at them at this time the heart of the matter i feel okay in your heart of hearts that is where this decision will be made, okay? Right now, you could be back and forth in your head and your heart space, okay? Um, but I feel ultimately, in your heart, okay, you know the direction to go. Now, I feel for some of you, okay, is to walk away and to find a new direction and find this union and this beautiful connection elsewhere. But I'd also feel, okay, for some of you, at least here, you are being called, okay, with your heart space to allow this person back in, even if it makes no logical sense. At the bottom of this deck, we do have slow down, and this is number nine pause and allow things to unfold so don't feel the need to rush ahead just what I'm getting you don't need to make any decisions right now you certainly don't need to make any snap decisions and like I said about the union of hearts it always kind of gives me that twin flame vibe we do actually have the twin flames there you could be dealing with a Pisces for some of you is another message but this is slow and steady it's a maze okay and the maze is, you know, twisting and turning. It might not feel like you're making much progress. But behind the scenes, there is more going on than meets the eye, okay? And that is a message I feel strongly for some of you here. Just slow down and allow this to unfold. There's no need to rush to make a decision is one thing I'm getting here, okay? Just allow it to go the natural fl with the natural flow, okay? Don't feel the need to put too much pressure on the final outcome is another message I'm getting here. 
you could certainly enjoy dancing or you could be dancing with your partner in the near future okay and I can't help but notice we do have forgiveness here so for some of you okay there is a need for forgiveness for the person who is coming towards you perhaps because they have put you through these in and out cycles and they have caused a lot of turbulence in their life but I do feel that you are appreciating the lessons that you've learned as a result. You are certainly appreciating your rise up to this Empress energy here. The number three could be significant for some of you. But the card actually says nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. So either way, if this is someone from the past or someone new entering your life, you are being asked to forgive, okay? And to have this new cycle occur for you okay with the moon energy here and something that is worth investing is what i'm getting here don't allow your fears to dictate rather find that quiet space where you can listen to your heart so let us get some more oracle cards for you now beautiful leo's watching what is going on in their love life please wow we have union and i've just gone really go spumpy and that is that infinity sign okay that we see there with the two of pentacles and i'm gonna be honest okay i did not when these cards come out okay it wasn't kind of like a, a union energy i was picking up on initially okay um i certainly feel you are not expecting this okay so whether it is meeting someone who is your divine counterpart or whether it's your divine counterpart coming in with truth okay um this is something you are not expecting and what the card says is the union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that it begins when you least expect it wow that's really beautiful i did notice trust at the bottom of the deck there okay but we are going to get another one card for you so trust is incredibly important trust in the universe trust in this person trust in yourself most of all though the empress is also very intuitive okay she's very connected and as i say she knows when it's time to invest and when it's time to walk away wow union on the table here for you though leo we also have the card illusion avoid the trap of mistaking a fantasy for a true soul connection and what i really get with this okay is that for some of you here it is as i say the fear that is going to hold you back when it comes to this connection that's coming towards you particularly if this is a brand new person okay you could fear making that same mistake that you've made in the past history repeating itself and okay i'm getting the message here okay you could be in this time very very confused as to whether the connection you are dealing with is real or whether it is not whether it's an illusion at this time okay um what i'm getting here okay is that you can trust in your own intuition here if you feel okay that this person is someone significant you can trust that if you have these seeds of doubt okay and i don't mean these seeds of doubt from the head space these seeds of doubt from your intuition okay so from your heart space or your gut space okay then you know listen to those but i feel for the majority of you here okay there is a fear of making the mistake of um confusing this connection when it is actually a real connection but you're afraid it's an illusion i do actually want one more card from this deck for you okay we do actually have two that have come out and it's intense connection okay so intense the intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and great lows this connection is eternal and unbreakable and i certainly feel that is the case okay i don't feel this is an illusion for you you certainly have felt at times this was an illusion it's all in your head maybe okay maybe the person that you were dealing with was in complete denial okay is another message i'm getting here um don't allow your fears to dictate you okay yes it is very intense it is very in and out it's a continuous cycle you're going through with this person there are extreme highs and extreme lows within this connection but ultimately it is a true soul connection that can never be broken it is eternal like i say perhaps even past life relationship at the bottom of the deck we have telepathic close soul connections are harmoniously synchronized moments of telepathy so you could be communicating with this person okay they could be um synchronicities occurring on a regular basis for you or if you meet haven't met this person yet when you do you're going to have this increase in your own third eye activity okay you are going to be able to communicate through um energy with this person the other message i'm getting okay is that you're 
you're both um, very intelligent, okay, and you're very tuned in in the headspace, okay, you're both, um, you're a, you've met your match in regards to that, then you can have good conversations with this person as well as good love. Okay, let us now get a Divine Feminine Oracle card for you to close out this reading, male or female, it doesn't matter, we've all got that Divine Feminine energy within us, and of course we do see that Empress energy for you as well. Okay, so we have Saint Bridget, our Lady of Exhalated Life, Light, sorry. I give endlessly because the light is without end. My soul is all I need. Absolutely beautiful. I feel that you've been maybe in hermit mode, relighting your own passion, relighting your own flame, doing some healing work yourself here. And now you've lit that light, okay? You've got this light to offer others. There is light at the end of the tunnel. It's another message I'm getting here. But I'm actually being drawn to that line, my soul is all I need. And I do feel, okay, for some of you at least here, you could be dealing with your divine counterpart, okay? You could be dealing with a high level of soulmate here. Someone who does feel like they have the same soul frequency as you. And the other message I'm getting here, okay, for those of you, especially if, you know, you're confused in regards to this connection because it is someone who's in and out of your life, okay, there's been painful cycles is what I'm feeling here, okay, and you're at this crossroads now, do I walk away, do I continue to invest, okay, this message is actually reminding you that that light, okay, that love within your heart, that's eternal and it comes from source, so you can forever regain that light sort of thing don't pour so you've got an empty cup I'm certainly not saying that okay but the love is unconditional and it's kind of like connected to the divine it's an eternal and unbreakable kind of love that is always going to be there it's always going to shine through is something I'm getting there at the bottom we have Rabia and the queen of saintly women I am in service of divine love I move the way love asks me to move. So make your decisions based on your heart space is certainly the message I'm getting there. And again, like I was just saying, you could, in a logical point of view, okay, be feeling, I can't give any more to this connection. But from your heart space, if you're feeling that call to do so, do so is what I'm getting. If you're being divinely guided in that way. I also feel, okay, the love that you share with this person is unconditional. It doesn't matter how many cycles you go through. It doesn't matter how intense the highs and the lows are. This is an eternal kind of love. So that is what I have for you, Leo. I do hope this reading has been helpful in some kind of way for you. Please do let me know in the comments below if it has resonated with you. Give a like, share, comment, subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. And I shall catch you on another reading soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.